was a teenager, I actually was uh, a friend of mine who owned a welding shop and I used to work for him. Later when I was going to college, I was an aeronautics major and then I fell into a welding program. And then the more I did, the more I enjoyed it. I would like my welds to be looked at, but all at the same time, to be perfect, mm -hmm. I guess. That's what I really strive for. I'm a perfectionist. And people are going to notice the good welds and sometimes not pay attention to them as much as to our an ugly, big, snotty weld sometimes sticks out like a bag sit on your forehead, you know, and you go, oh, what's that, you know? <laughs> and to a trained eye, um, it's a lot easier to, to see a, you know, a really nice beat. Um, just welding some three-quarter inch flat bar to uh, some quarter inch aluminum plate here. So I gotta do a full weld all the way around it, so it'll be, uh, a couple hours worth of work. I like aluminum. Um, it's for me, it's the funnest to weld. Um, stainless is also fun, but working with stainless, like drilling holes and stuff like that, it's such a hard material that it's you know sometimes a pain in the ass to drill holes into it and stuff like that. Sometimes a certain way, just on releasing clamps or how you heat something to preheat it or slow cool it, has a lot to do with how the metal will distort. Uh, for your finished products. Having your, your material clean, especially with aluminum and stainless, um, is really important. You can see here, I just beveled this edge here just a little bit, all the way down. Basically, I'm just gonna put um, a few tacks on here, and then, uh, then I'll flip it over and weld it completely um, on the other side. Challenging jobs I really like. The, you know, keeps you keeps the brain ticking. You know, I changed my setting for penetration, so uh, just because of the thickness of. It. With aluminum, you, know, you can run on AC or DC, but running with alternating current, alternating current cleans the material. So TIG welding, you have your foot controls like a gas pedal, it's your heat, your tungsten, which is not consumable for tungsten. So basically, you're Stepping on a gas pedal, creating a puddle. And as soon as I create that puddle, um, I start moving my hand and dipping your torch in. This is like this. See here, when I guess we got really thick material here on how my beads a little bit wider here, and you can see every dip that I'm putting in right there. But uh, you see here as I, as the material heated up a little bit, it started to flow a little bit better, and it got a little bit wider than it was right here in the beginning. As this whole sheet heats up, it'll it'll become a little bit easier for me to weld. So I'm putting so many amps into this thing. Right now it's getting pretty, yeah, it's hot, but it's not super hot. Aluminum is such a good conductor, you know, that the heat just spreads out across it you know, super rapidly. Yeah, I find myself keep improving, especially when you get uh, different jobs that you've never done before, and you got a challenge on to how to, uh, you know, how to hold that job and how to, uh, you know, how to perfect it, especially when it comes to production welding of different items. Um, sometimes on how you release a clamp on something uh, can cause it to distort one way or another. They started just releasing clamps in different, different ways. And now I get a perfectly flat bottom before I put in a press ring flat. I'm thinking about something as a perfectionist. And, uh, and I didn't take pride in my work and I want to, you know, I want to go out the door and make people happy and make sure it doesn't come back in the door, you know, for a failure. Well,
I try to do my work right the first time and, and, uh, and quickly and that makes people happy and, and I get a lot of people coming back. The accomplishment, you know, after making something and cutting and chopping and welding and grinding, you know, having a finished product right in front of you and knowing I did a good job on it, you know, it's you know, good feeling. I was, I was curious, so I had to take a peek at the light and my eyes are like really messed up right now. <laughs> I'm like a little cheap.